Hello and welcome back YouTubers, I'm Proto Mario. AMD is going to be releasing a $200 VR ready graphics card. So, there's a few things I want to talk about with this. One, until the testing is completely done with VR, as in with all the VR games, not just very select games, I can't determine without a shadow of a doubt that this card is going to be amazing. And two, if everything is tested, benchmarks are done, and it's 10 out of 10 best graphics card there is for the money, then this is going to completely destroy the 1070 and 1080 in terms of VR use. Now that's the big thing, that's the big push. Again, you could be buying the 1070 and 1080 for other things like 1080p gaming, 1440p gaming, 4K gaming. That'd be perfectly fine. A-OK. -okay. The 1080 and the 1070 are great cards on their own and you're gonna have to wait again. Nvidia paper launch that you know the pre-orders are sold out. They're selling for like two grand on eBay. Okay, so you're just gonna have to wait. However, this card right here is going to blow them out of the water in terms of VR performance for the money. So the biggest complaint that people have for VR, consumers, standard consumers, not enthusiasts, is that it costs so much money to get into VR. This is going to mainstream VR quite a bit more because you could get yourself a computer. Let's say you just walk into Best Buy and you say to yourself, I just want a computer that's VR ready. They're going to have computers set up with this card or without this card and you can buy this card separately and just slap it into the computer and be good to go. They're going to have the headset there. They're going to have the whole package. Just wait and see. I can almost guarantee you. But what are the specs of the card? What's going on? The RX 480 will cost $199 and is based off of AMD's new Polaris architecture. It's capable of over 5 teraflops of computing power. That's all right. Uh, it's a lot better than the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One to give you kind of a perspective compared to the six teraflops of NVIDIA's recently announced 1070. Again, underpowered compared to the 1070, but really almost half the price, man. Really cheap, really cheap. Can you imagine getting a sale on this? Getting like 50 bucks off this card? $150 card that can do VR very well, apparently. There's going to be 4GB and 8GB variants and versions, and it will run 2000 MHz GG GDDR5 memory, much like the 1070, as stated before if you've been checking out the benchmarks. Uh, it's been shown using Crossfire 480s manages to beat the new NVIDIA's 1080 when running Ashes of the Singularity. Again, remember that's kind of a biased game that's biased towards AMD, so of course they're going to use it. I, just, I don't know, man. This is good news for everyone because you can expect price drops due to this fact. Think about it. Okay, you have the RX 480 that's $199 and you have the GTX 970. So the RX 480 is beating the GTX 970. I, it's not confirmed, I'm just speculating here, and it's only $200. What do you think NVIDIA is going to do? They can't keep the 970's price tag at what it's at. They would have to drop it to $200 or less. I mean, because they don't, they don't really have anything extra with it. Yeah, you got, you got game works. Yeah, you got the cool cores and stuff like that. Yeah, you, you know, you got the stuff that works with it, game stream, stuff like that. Okay, that's fine. You know, those are just extra features. You're really just in it for the damn card. So, if the card's two hundred dollars and there's a less powered card selling for like four to five hundred dollars let's just say four hundred dollars you know they're gonna have to drop the price you're just gonna have to drop the price there's no questioning it especially if you're looking to compete in the vr scene as the 970 can compete in the vr scene it's still not the best option out there but this is going to be a compelling option and this actually might give nvidia a run for the money since they were announcing very pricey cards. Again, they're not as pricey as cards in the past, as the GTX 1080 has been somewhere around $600 recently in their launches like the 980, the 80 series, 
and uh, they get expensive, like tight necks and stuff like that. Well, this is a very cheap, cost-efficient alternative. Would you switch to Team AMD if it meant you could build a VR-ready rig for under $600? Let me know in the comment section below, and I've been your host, Proto Mario, and I'm signing out. As always, ladies and gentlemen, good gaming, and God bless.